Zizel. In this USG how-to video, we'll discuss how to interoperate your USG appliance with your existing Active Directory database. The USG has the power to leverage granular per user authorization for security policies, VPN tunnels, and other features. Although you can always make user policies local to the USG itself, if you are using an Active Directory server, you can use accounts on your AD server with the USG's authentication mechanism. Before you begin, you'll need a functioning Active Directory server. Once that's set up, you can configure your USG to work with it. Connect to the USG's LAN port and point your web browser to its management IP address. The default IP address for the USG is 192.168.1.1. If using the default self-signed certificate on your USG, your browser may present you with a security warning, but it's perfectly okay to proceed. The default username is admin, and the default password is 1234. If you're still using the default password, you'll be prompted to change it and will have to log back in using the new password. Once you've logged in, you should see the dashboard and the menu bar on the left margin. From the menu bar, go to the Configuration, Objects, Off Method menu. Edit the default method by double-clicking on it or by selecting it and then clicking the Edit button. In the Edit window, click the Add button and then add Group AD to the first entry. This way, the USG will refer any authentication request to the AD server first for things like authenticating users for security profiles, and then the local account database on the USG itself for things like USG local administration. Click OK to save this change. Next, go to the Configuration, Objects, AAA Server menu. In the Active Directory tab, edit the default AD entry. Enter the AD server address and the optional backup server address. The default AD server port is 389, but if you've changed this on your AD server, it needs to be the same port setting here as well. Configure the base DN here exactly the same as on the domain controller. The bind DN is a username and password that allows the USG to join the domain with administrative privileges. It's a required field and must also be configured on the AD server for the USG to properly interoperate with the AD server. In the User Login Settings section, ensure your login name attribute and group membership attribute settings match those being used on the AD server. If your AD server is using domain authentication for MSCHAP, enable the feature and ensure the proper username, password, realm, an optional net BIOS name are entered into the respective fields. At the bottom of the Active Directory edit menu is the configuration validation tool. If you have a username that you can test against the AD server, you can enter it here and click the test button to ensure the USG is properly interoperating with the AD server. Once your settings are correct, click OK to save them. To have AD users successfully authenticate, You'll also need to create a user object that can be applied to security and VPN policies. To do this, go to the Configuration, Objects, User Group menu. In the User tab, add a new user. The username can be anything you prefer, but the user type should be set to either ext user for a single user or ext group user to utilize user groups already set up on your AD server. For the latter, the group identifier needs to match a group defined in your AD server with the appropriate desired user assigned to the group on the AD server. The associated AAA server object should be set to AD. Finally, you can use the configuration validation tool at the bottom of the edit menu to ensure that your settings work by testing a known good AD user account against the settings. Once everything is correct, click OK to save your settings. With this user account created and AD settings in place on the USG, you can now apply it to policies that require user-based access such as IPsec VPN, SSL VPN, Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol VPN, security policies, and so forth. See our other videos related to these functions for more information. For more USG how-to videos, see our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash